Welcome back to my channel. It is Candice with a K here where I normally talk books, beauty, and kicks. Today I am talking books and we are talking about a book that I... I don't know. First and <laughs> foremost, I want to say we're talking about Butterfly 4. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm an Ashley Antoinette fan. And it dates all the way back to the Cartel series, Murder Mommies, um, Murder Mamas, excuse me. Um, mo uh, what is it? Moth to a Flame. Like, I am an Ashley Antoinette fan through and through. However, um, after reading Butterfly 4, I'm just unsure. And we are really going to talk about it. Before we get into the real details of the review, I do want to let you know that she has now decided to put all of her books on a singular, <laughs> she has decided to put all of her books on a singular platform, just her platform, which I understand as an entrepreneur. Um, however, let's get into this app right quick. So the app is called Book Lovers and it has her entire catalog. Um... But the app is terrible. <laughs> There's really nothing else for me to say besides that the app is terrible. And um, I just want her to make major, not minor, but major upgrades to the app if she continues or plans to continue to use it as the sole way to get her catalog or access her catalog because I only downloaded the app for the purpose of reading Butterfly 4. I paid $14.99 for the book. Um, <clears throat> and I've read most of her books through, um, through the library as well as a lot of her books are on Kindle Unlimited as well as I've purchased a lot of books through Amazon. And you know, if you buy them through Amazon, they end up on Kindle. So that formatting is already there. The biggest issue that I have with the app is that the formatting is not there. So the back end needs to just be a little better. On the app, when you read the book, it is in a PDF form, which anybody who tries to read a PDF from a phone because I had to download the app. I didn't think to download it on my iPad, um, but reading it from my phone, it's a PDF. So that means already sizing is off. And then two, um, the app never got me back to the place that I left off. And it oftentimes constantly signed me out. So after signing in once, you would think in an app, you're signed in forever. Let's think Netflix, Hulu. Let's think all of our streaming services. Once you're signed in, you're signed in. On this app, it was constantly signing me out, constantly losing my place in the book. So I had to, as I was reading, be mindful of where I was in the book because that was going to assist me in getting back to my page. Not only that, the page number on the PDF was different from the page number on the app. So... I then had to decide which one was I going to follow. And of course I chose the PDF because that's the printed version. And then I, every time I had to zoom in larger because this eyesight is not a good eyesight. <laughs> and I had to do that. So I just think if she plans to continue using the app and if you decide to read Butterfly 4, this is something that you're going to have to deal with. And so I'm just letting you know so that you are aware. Um, and I will say that the issues with the app slowed me down on finishing the book. When it comes to an Ashley Antoinette book, I normally can read it in two days tops. Um, because I'm normally really invested in the story. I normally can get through it. I'm excited. I'm, you know, I love the characters. I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. But it took me so long to finish this book, which is so not like me and my relationship with this particular author. So um, I really hope that in the near future, she decides to create or make modifications to the app. Um, I have not actually browsed the app or seen anything else. I was actually considering deleting it 
now that I finished the book. Um, but I might do a browse through it to see what's there. Her entire catalog is there, which is really nice. Um, but so from this point on, I'm talking about the book. If you have not read it, this is your time to exit. If you're interested, you can keep watching, but I will let you know that there are going to be spoilers. I'm talking about the book straight up and down. I'm giving you all of my opinions. Okay. So it's not going to be a gloss over review. We're getting in deep because I got some things to say. So if you don't want to hear what they, I have to, what they, what I have to say Peace. But be sure to subscribe so I see you in my next video. So for the people that stayed, thank you. And so let's talk about it. So <clears throat> Butterfly is an extension of the... Is it the Cartel series? It is. It's an extension of the Cartel series. I can't remember now. Oh my God. I'm almost certain. Okay, I've been drinking, <laughs> but no, I believe it's an extension of the cartel series. Um, and now I'm not certain. Anyways, I've been invested in Ashley Antoinette, as I've said previously, for a while. So I've read Butterfly 1, 2, and 3, and I really enjoyed the series. I've even read some of the one-offs. So they have like Christmas with the Okafors. Um, they all, she also has the invitation, which is kind of the baby shower fiasco. And all of those are important to the story. Ashley Antoinette has created her multiverse. So now here in Butterfly 4, we are where we left off in Butterfly 3, which is Morgan still negotiating her feelings between three men. She's technically in a love quadrilateral. Okay, we're going to call it a love quadrilateral because it's Morgan or I guess not necessarily a quadrilateral. I don't know what shape has a point with three. Nonetheless, um, it's Morgan <clears throat> who is technically in a relationship with Bash but Morgan was previously in a relationship with the Messiah, who we all thought was dead, or not we all, but she thought was dead. Come to find out he had cancer. He dipped out to deal with his own traumas and dealings with that by himself, understood. But in the meantime, in her grief and grieving, ended up with Amik or Meek, who is messiah's bestie okay so it's a little messy i will say but <clears throat> what did butterfly four actually do i don't feel like it pushed the story any further so here we go i've got some notes <clears throat> morgan at the end of the book in book four is still torn between meek and messiah there's through the book, we noticed that, or even before the book, even I believe in book three, we learned that Bash was kind of using some very predatory, um, almost uh, blackmail type of tactics on her to keep her to stay, him and his mother. And book four, we kind of see it taken to a further extent where we, where we learn that Bash was in a previous relationship that kind of resulted in the same outcome, except for the girl died. And so Morgan, <clears throat> whom has, who, not whom, who has two children, had to kind of fight for herself. So she fights off Bash. Cool. My opinions on Bash is that Bash is not going to go Bash for Lee. <laughs> Bash is going to come back with a vengeance if there is a book five. Um, which I feel like it has to be a book five because of the way that it ended. There was no true conclusion. So Bash has to come back fighting. And I also don't feel as though Bash is going to be Bash. I feel like it's going to be his mother um, because they are, or how it's written is that they're royals and like high snob 
society, people in London, where he's from. And so I feel like that's that. And so although he bowed out in this particular book, I feel like that's not the end of him. So now we're still, she's, she, Morgan, is still negotiating the feelings and relationship between her, Amik, Meek, and Messiah. Meek and Messiah, okay? She's trying to decide between Meek and Messiah, where her heart is with Meek, but now Messiah's back after he's, is, was believed that he was dead, and he has two kids to now take care of that belongs to Morgan. So they have to operate as a family regardless. But she's in love with his best friend. So the situation is sticky. I get that. What I would have liked to see at the end of this book is her making a defining decision. Um, so we do see that she is um, torn, which is understandable. But we also see that she has an undeniable love for Meek. So if that's where you want to be, sis, go there. I know it's not very black and white like that. However, in a novel, we got to get somewhere. <laughs> where are we going? Like, what is the conclusion? As I was reading this book, I kind of felt like we're, I'm just reading to read, uh, which I don't have a problem with. I understand it is a series and things have to build on themselves and we have to, you know, continue the story going. But there was nothing in the story that really pushed it further beyond what we already know. We already know that Morgan is in this triangle uh, or quadrilateral. We already know that Meek and Messiah aren't as cool because Morgan. We already know that Messiah is torn between Morgan and Blue because, uh, and dealing with his own previous issues that we, like these are things we already know. So I would have wished that Ashley would have told us something new. Um, the newest thing that happened, which is not even really new because I feel like in book, oh, well, because of the baby shower, we knew that Alani was pregnant so, um, uh, because that, that was in the invitation, which I believe was in between Butterfly, maybe it was after Butterfly 2, in between Butterfly 3. I can't remember where they situate because they were separate, separately released, but they somehow situate before reading, maybe it was before reading Butterfly 4. Nonetheless, nothing in the book was new. We knew everything. Um, <clears throat> the only really new thing is that Hendrix, who is Bella's boyfriend, who is Morgan's half-sister, ethics child, is locked up. Um, and whether or not that's going to sustain, which I don't think it should because she's a teenager. Like, girl, don't be trying to talk to no man in jail. Period. Um, but, like, I just, in my heart of hearts, I just wanted the story to push forward. If a Butterfly 5 came out tomorrow, I'm reading it. So it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Because I'm going to always support Ashley Antoinette. She has to get this app together, though. The app has to get get together. Um, because I cannot continue that. So, sis, if you don't want to put your books in the library and if you don't want to put them on Amazon, you need to put into some development on the application. Because I can't. And I don't want to lose you. Suck them up. <laughs> Um, but no, I feel like the book could have just progressed the story further. Um, I do feel like there are some things that could have been expanded on, which I know you, you, as I say, you leave it for a series and you're going to push it forward. I know that, but I just wanted more. And I don't know if it's because I've been without an Ash Ashley Antoinette book in so long. I like, I feel like it might've been 2020 that I was reading all these books and I know she's churning them out. She really is. She's churning them out and they're written very well. I will not negate that from her. They um, put you there. It's very visual. All of those things. 
but I just needed more, more. Um, and so I look forward to Butterfly 5. I look forward to any other ancillary books that come, whether it's like, maybe it's Letters from the Pen, okay? Maybe that's Hendrix's story, or like maybe it's, um, maybe it's like from a different perspective of like somebody on the outside, like maybe um, we rarely see stories about elders. I know that's kind of weird and off topic, but Alani's mother could have her own little situation get down. That also ties into everything else that's going on with this family because she's an elder and a woman from a different perspective. You, you just really never know, right? So uh, I look forward to seeing what comes from it. And yeah, did you all read Butterfly 4? Maybe I jumped the gun. Maybe I'm just being too critical, which could also be a thing, but I was just hoping for more. Um, but I don't know. So be sure to subscribe to this channel because like I said, this is Candace with the K where I talk books, beauty, and kicks. And I want to see you next time. Peace.